Hi, let's get to the point, your monthly market report from Sierra Nevada Realtors. I'm Sarah Sharkey, co-president of Sierra Nevada Realtors. And I'm Christy Frenquest, also your co-president of the Sierra Nevada Realtors. Before we take a look at October's Northern Nevada real estate market, we want to thank our silver partner, Tycor Title, for this month's episode. And now, let's get to the point. The numbers presented are as of November 7th, 2023. Carson's new listings fell 7.7% from September with 48 properties, but new listings were up 26.3% from last year, which only had 38. Closings were also down from last month, but increased 16.7% from October of last year. The median price for Carson increased 15.3%, ending at 585,000. Total month supply of inventory went up slightly, landing at 2.7 months. Moving on to Churchill, new listings grew by 25% with 25 new listings for October. Closings also increased 20% from September with 18. The median sales price in Churchill was 360,000. There was no change from September, but down 6.5% from October of last year. Month's supply of inventory for Churchill continues an upward trend of 2.7 months. And moving on to Douglas. Douglas County had 64 new listings in October, down 15.8% from September. There were 57 closings in October, down 20.8% from the previous month. Median sales price for Douglas decreased 8.6% to 650,000. Month supply of inventory increased slightly to 3.8 months. And before we hear about the other counties, let's hear from our Bowtie economist, Elliot Eisenberg. Hey Elliot, we heard rates were gonna hit 8% and now we're seeing rates going slightly down. What's happening? That's a great question. This involves two different interest rates. The first one is the Fed funds rate. It's controlled by the central bank. It's now five and three eighths. And the Fed has promised to keep that rate at this current rate, maybe even a little bit higher if they raise rates again, for a considerable period of time so that they can squeeze out any remnants of inflation that are out there in the economy. Higher for longer. At the same time, the other interest rate that's very important for financial markets is the 10-year treasury. It had, been, it had gone up for almost eight straight weeks in a row in the face of very strong economic conditions and data. But suddenly last week, things got appreciably weaker and the 10-year treasure, the treasury declined and along with it, 30-year mortgage rates. So on one hand, the Fed funds rates higher for longer, but the 30-year rate, which is more responsive to current economic conditions, declined. I hope this is helpful. Thank you, Elliot, for always providing your expertise as we navigate the factors that impact interest rates. If you want to hear more from Elliot, sign up for his blog at econ70.com. And now let's turn our report over to Sarah. Thanks, Christy. So to move on, Lyon County had 94 new listings and 84 closings. The median sales price in Lyon increased just shy of 2% from September, ending the month at 395,450. The month supply of inventory for Lyon decreased 22.7%, ending with 3.1 months supply. And finishing up, Washoe County, excluding the area of Incline Village, saw a decrease of 11.4% in new listings with 373 properties. Closings were down 8.8% from September, with 342 properties being recorded. The median sales price increased slightly to $575,000, a 6.5% increase from October 22. Month supply of inventory for Washoe with 2.4 months of inventory. And that wraps up this episode of To The Point. We will see you next month for the latest To The Point.